The video game industry is a multi-billion dollar business, but it's not just the developers who are profiting off the games. Players are also profiting, including my next guest, who is proving that sometimes it really does pay to play. 24-year-old Chris Swag Lamberson is one of the most popular players and one of the most popular video games on the planet. Happy to have him on the show. We're also joined by our tech editor and avid, uh, avid gamer himself, I might add, Mr. Dan Howley. Uh, so Swag, I'm going to start with you. During this pandemic, what has happened to the gaming industry and your experience in particular? Yeah, I think the biggest it just blew up to a different different stratosphere. I mean, I saw so many different cultures and uh, uh, like game, yeah, like athletes, musicians, everyone came together and just everyone wanted to be a gamer because there was nothing else to do. So you saw the gaming industry just boom, and uh, everybody just wanted to play video games because I mean, everyone's a lockdown. So it's been crazy and it's been awesome. Uh, Spike, I was talking to a, a Activision a CEO uh, recently about the growth of Call of Duty, obviously. Uh, I was watching some of your streams uh, of Warzone and uh, I'm a big Warzone player. Uh, okay. Yeah, not not great, not great, but I'm, you okay, know, I'm okay. in there, I'm in there. Nah, I'm I'll go, I'll go, man. Uh, but I, I guess, you know, as far as uh, the game goes, where are you seeing uh, it trend? And do you think that it's going to hold itself uh, long-term? Kind of, you know, Fortnite was really super hot and then we had Warzone come in and kind of take that over now. So do you see it holding on for a while or do you see another one coming soon? No, I definitely see it holding on for a while. I just saw recently that the Activision actually said that, you know, that Warzone is going to be their main focus. As long as they keep updating the game, um, I mean, it's free to play. It's an incredible game. The engine is awesome. So as long as they keep putting, you know, just content into it, it'll last for a really long time, very long longevity. And I, I also just want to touch on, you know, uh, when it comes to streaming, obviously, diversity has to be part of the conversation in video games. And I, I kind of okay. want to get your perspective on it, what you feel uh, as far as Twitch streamers go uh, in terms of diversity, whether or not there's enough representation across the spectrum. I mean, video games, you know, they're for everyone, right? Yep. So I guess, are you seeing that as far as Twitch streaming goes? Uh, are you seeing enough representation or is it, you know, kind of still lopsided? No, it's definitely it's definitely progressing. I know one of the biggest things that I actually notice is that, you know, a lot of black Latino kids don't have, you know, PCs. A lot of them have like consoles. And so with, with the release of like these new gen consoles, the PS5, the new Xbox, you know, they're bringing abilities, new technologies for a lot of people to actually stream who can't afford the equipment. Because when I first started out, I couldn't afford a, a you know, a $2,000 PC. I couldn't afford a, you know, $300 monitor. But like now with this new technology, with new consoles coming out, it's going to allow people, allow more diversity and people who can, really can't afford to stream, be able to stream with limited tech. And uh, that's all you really need to, to get actually started in the, in the gaming industry. I just want to hit on one quick question. Uh, as far as the actual, you know, streaming uh, fundamentals, you know, a lot of people seem to think that it's just playing video games all day, but you're really working. You, you have to be on nonstop uh, to entertain people, to make sure that they come back to your channel and subscribe and then perhaps donate. I guess, what does an average day look like for you when you're streaming? Yeah, no. So I usually wake up, um, figure out. So I do YouTube and streaming. So I figure out what I do, what YouTube video is going to have and stuff like that. What other content I'm going to have on other platforms. And then I usually go live, you know, about for seven, eight hours. And I don't get me wrong. I'm very blessed. You know, I'm not going to sit here and act like it's the hardest job in the world, but it definitely does. You can't just hop in here and think you're going to be successful. You know what I mean? It definitely takes work. Um, I mean, if everyone, I'm sure during the pandemic, so many people try to be gamers and try to be, you know, try to be streamers and it just didn't work out because it takes a lot more than just turning on a camera or just turning on a video game. You know, you got to be entertaining. Uh, you'd be good. Like you don't have to be good, but being good also helps. Uh, there's a whole different array of things, but yeah, it's definitely not easy. And uh, it's taken me, I mean, almost seven years to perfect. So, Yeah, I want to I want to jump off that because I think a lot of people see the kind of money that content creators, these video game content creators can make. Uh, I was reading somewhere between ten dollars and $20,000 a month if you're really successful at it. I guess your big moment came last year when eSports uh, came calling and asked you to, to join their team as a content creator. What would you tell folks who see that and are, and are trying to trying to get there and try to emulate you? 
I think the biggest advice I can give is enjoy the process. You know, I think it took me six years to join, you know, the, the team of my dreams. You know what I mean? I've been watching FaZe Clan for so long. And I think that, you know, it's not so much always about the end goal. It's about just enjoying the whole process, you know, getting better at making videos you know, coming to every stream with with different energy and just coming with something new. And I think that's probably the biggest advice is just keep every day, become a better streamer, become a better, you know, gamer than you were the day before. I think towards the end, you'll just, you'll just see more progress and you, you never know what can happen. Okay. This, this is a question uh, for me and probably the other gamers uh, out there. What's your go-to loadout right now? What, oh, what are you, what are you because I, oh. I, I need some tips. No, no, no. Right now, I think we're going uh, Amax Mac Ten. I think that's my that's my go to loadout right now. I see a lot of players using the FFAR. What about you? What, what are you rocking right now? I just started with the Ram. Uh, okay. Just now. Uh, I'm trying to get. I, I'm not good at sniping. I'm terrible. Uh, I always get taken out right away. Okay. Uh, okay. I spend a lot of time in the Gulag, like I said. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm the MP7. You know, I'm, I'm it's, it's cool. It's cool. I, give the Mac Ten a go, man. I think you'll like it a lot. I got to give it a shot. I got to give it a shot. Definitely. This is like a whole other language, guys. I don't know. Yeah. I, I just, just get together, play some video games. Sounds exciting. You're gonna have to teach me. But so, oh, just tell definitely. us before we let you go, what are you most excited about in in the near term in the industry? Anything new coming out, or anything we should be looking that you're you know keeping an eye on? Uh, I think, like I said, with like a lot of these new consoles and stuff like that, man, we're just going to see just more players just coming from controller and just you, more diverse. You know, you'll see it like ne in the maybe in the next year, you'll see a top, you know, black or Latino a gamer who's number one. You know, there's just going to be so many new players coming to the game and just, you know, really uh, being exposed. And I, I'm really excited to see where next, the future holds for gamers. You know, it's definitely an exciting time to be in the midst of it all, which you are, Swag. So thanks so much for coming on. I know Dan was excited. Dan, I think we, you should just continue the conversation offline there with uh, with Swag. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. If I can get tips. Yeah, right, anyone sure. can get him, and he's a good person to get him from. So listen, continued success to you, Chris Swag Lamberson, and uh, and Dan. Thanks for joining us on that. Okay, we're.